Good morning again everybody. Um, I'm assuming you've watched the video on us dismantling the 3LW pump top. Now we're going to go on to the cam box. I mean levers off and with the pump top off I can now see the individual rams working as they should. Uh, the shaft is rotating quite freely. I don't feel any roughness there at all. But we'll renew the bearings anyway. I can take out the spring. I can take out the ram. And I don't know if you can make this out or not. But you'll see there a tiny little number one. Do you see that? And this is typical of gardeners. Uh, a lot of the components in the engines were numbered. So they could be put back exactly the way they were originally manufactured. The roller on this one is mm, mediocre. Uh, I would say we'll have to replace it. The roller on number two, something similar. I'd say we'll have to replace all the rollers. An easy enough job, you just punch out that pin there Put in the new roller, push in the new pin, uh, and away you go. Hey everybody, um, some of you may have noticed that um, I've had a, wipe, a haircut that was on the insistence of my wife. Um, I hope it doesn't spoil your viewing too much. Uh, my objective, as I stated before, was to look at the 3LW cam box today. But in actual fact, I'm going to concern myself mostly with the governor. Inside the cam box itself, it's pretty boring really. There's just a couple of bearings and the cams themselves and a gear for driving the lift pump. So I'm not going to go any further really with that. Um, my first objective on the governor is to take off this forked lever here. The function of this forked lever is once it's pushed in here by the action of the throttle here it compresses the large spring inside this in here i would have showed you that w on a previous video it compresses that spring and makes it more difficult for the governor to shove a little rod out in here push that arm forward and reduce the fuel fed to the injectors so to do to get this forked lever off I'm going to punch out this clevis pin here. I don't need to take out this one because um, once I take off the fork lever, this element will come off as well. In fact, once I have that fork lever off, you'll be able to see the workings here much, much clearer. So on we now we have the fork lever off. Didn't give too much bother. This chap here is known as the governor lever, and that's my next objective. Once again, the rotating weights inside the governor cause this bar here to move out. In doing so, they push this lever forward. This moves forward and reduces the diesel to the injector pump. Sorry to repeat myself there, I just wanted to make that clear. So to get this off, I have to take out this screw here. Now this can give bother because it's quite a small screw and again it's screwing into aluminium but I've already tested it and I know it's going to come out without giving grief. Quite a long thread on it. So that's out. So now <coughs> the governor cover comes up. We can set that to one side. Um, inside here you can see uh, the big spring that the weights, the weights have to overcome that spring in order to move the rod out. I hope you've grasped that. Uh, these are the weights themselves. Now, as the shaft rotates, these weights should fly out. Now, I will confess they, they're quite stiff at the minute. They should be completely free. So we'll have to do some work there. Um, they are inclined to wear in here with time. So we'll have to sort that out. Um, in the center here, we've got a, a plus bearing. I hope you can see that. 
and it has its own race. Again, that reduces the friction whenever the shafts, whenever the shaft is rotating. So, that's the governor. Um, as I said, I think we leave it at that. The only other point is, this is the small, the little small um, <clears throat> pin that fits here that moves in and out with with the weights as the weights come out. This will move out. It's a bit stiff for me to show you at the minute, but you get the idea. This is moving in and out here. So, thank you very much.